Hello dear friend, this time I sincerely welcome you and thank you very much that you took this opportunity to explore mysteries of wedding. Now I would like to give you a brief overview of our video series in a nutshell. First, we are going to discover how metronome BPM works. Then, we will discover how to catch the first beat. And at the end, we will see how these two steps are connected by counting the beats. And this is the foundation. Of listening. On top of that, we will learn how to listen to accents, learn how to listen to syncopations, and after we are really competent, we will join the next step. And next step is verbalization. So first of all let me introduce you the rhythmical system like in any other system there is a unit and device to measure rhythm and for rhythm it is metronome metronome is a device which we use to measure rhythm which is very essential and I would say as a must for all musicians if you want to develop good rhythmical skills you have to use metronome till you feel very competent and confident with rhythm and the unit of metronome is BPM BPM means beat per minute. As you know, we have 60 seconds a minute. But there, there are also beats per minute. There may be beats 50 per minute. There may be 100 per minute. And depending on BPM, the feeling we get from music is also changing. Our natural BPM is our heart rate. Our heart has also a BPM. For some people it's about 60-70, for some people about 70-80. And it also changes. And in general, if a music is above heartbeat, let's say 100, 120, 140 BPM, we feel like to dance and we want to move. And if we listen to music which has less BPM than our heart rate, we feel relaxed, we feel meditative, we feel chill. And this is how it is related. And now we will learn the first step how to catch the BPM, how to feel the BPM. This is actually very intuitive, yet we will have practices. This system I am going to share with you, very practical, there is no theory. This is why it is very functional. Let's start. First, download a metronome app. There are many apps available. So, pick one. And then we start with easiest. Easiest time signature is always four. Start with four. And I think 100 BPM is also an easy one. Start with 100 BPM. 
for this time signature. Let's start. In this first step, we will catch the tempo, either clapping or tapping our foot, even we can move our head, if we want we can walk as well. And if you are a dancer, I think you can move your body. It's about catching this tempo. Cool. Now we will have some different BPMs and different time signatures. But the goal of this exercise we are having now is just to catch tempo. We don't need to count. We don't need to focus on other elements, just catch the tempo because this is a very intuitive step. This first step is very intuitive, just we need to feel this tempo and catch it and align with it. Believe it or not, there are many people, they don't feel this tempo. And unless you feel this tempo, don't jump to other two steps. This is why. We start with this first step. This first step is the beginning level. Then we will join to second step and the third step. First, you need to really qualify with this first step. Now I will have different time signature and different tempo. Let's do it. As you realize, I went a bit faster. Now we will try something slower. You may think, ah, slow is easy. You, you may be challenged now. That was 60 BPM. And now I want to introduce you Indian metronome, which we are going to use very frequently in this video series. And I recommend you to get one. First, work with this classical metronome. But after you feel confident with it, start to work with Indian metronome, which is called Lehra. Lehra is going to help you with different elements of rhythm. There are swings of beats and it's played by different instruments. It's very musical metronome. So it will really help you to play music in the loop. Because classical metronome is very mechanical, robotic, but this Indian metronome is very organic. You will see now. We will have some exercises for catching BPM.
just focus on the beat. another instrument so we can use very different instruments on this layer that's why it's really cool and now I will change the BPM I hope you are having fun. Yeah, this is very intriguing tool. This layer can really help you to go deeper in these mysteries of rhythm. So just work with it. And you may wonder, like sometimes this is how I make the tempo. There are many different ways you can do finger snapping, up last, move, tap. I'm using this because in Indian music, this is the way also how to make a tempo and also count. It's very practical. Sometimes I do that, but to count I am doing it. And also in Indian music, they also count. By doing so but I just use it now to make tempo so feel free however you can embody the tempo the important thing is you catch it it doesn't matter how you catch it but the important thing is you catch it that was the first step congratulations just expose yourself to this metronome both i mean this classical metronome this indian metronome and use both of them as often as you can just open them and then listen to them and this is how you develop this intrinsic feeling intuitive feeling for rhythm and this is a must you need to really catch this tempo. Unless you catch this tempo, you will not be able to understand the next two steps, which are very related to each other. So, have fun with metronome exercises and see you in the next lesson.